Hello Year 9. Today's learning objective is to know how to write error intervals. This will be building on those skills that we saw last lesson towards the end. So please write that learning objective in your books. Now shown on the board are your six starter questions. So please pause the video here for 10 minutes, work through those six and then we'll go through the answers afterwards. So have a green pen ready to mark. Please pause the video now. So on the board, six answers, please mark in green pen, pause the video now while you mark, and then we'll move on to seeing some more difficult error intervals. So the first I do and we do of the lesson. Now example one says a number y when truncated to two decimal places is shown below. So that's our number here, 46.58. This has been truncated to two decimal places. Complete the error interval for y. So remember when we truncate, in this case, to two decimal places, we draw a line after two decimal places and we would have chopped off anything, anything after that. So we've got to think, what numbers could this have been before to truncate to this? Now remember, when you truncate, you chop off everything after the two decimal places and you don't worry about the numbers, you ignore them. So after this, it could have been as low as 0, 0, 0, nothing after this. It could have been as low as that to round to truncate to this. So that's our lower bound. And on the higher bound, think about this this could have been as high as 99999 recurring after this and we still would have chopped off and just taken 46.58 so our upper bound is anything less than 48.59 because as long as this is an 8 if we truncated this it would come to 46.58 so anything less than 48.59. So anything greater than 46.58, greater than equal to that, or equal to that. And then anything less than 48.59. Please do the same for 79.68. So think about all the numbers that could have truncated to this. So we would have chopped off after two decimal places. So much the same. Anything greater than or equal to 79.68 so it could have been as low as 79.68 and nothing else afterwards and it could have been anything up to 79.689 recurring and it still would have truncated to this so anything below 79.69 as long as it doesn't have that 9 in anything less than that would have truncated to this so that's your error interval. Give yourself a tick and green pen. This isn't easy. So well done if you got that right. Okay, so the next one, a number y when truncated to two decimal places is shown below. So this number has been truncated to two decimal places. Complete the error interval for y. So remember that we would have drawn a line after this zero. And then after this, we would have just ignored everything. So we've got to think, what numbers could this have been before? Well, it could have been as low as 46.50000, nothing after this. So that's our lower bound. And it could have been greater than or equal to that. It could have been equal to that. And then on the upper bound, well, as long as it was below 46.51, so it could have been 509 recurring, as long as it wasn't a 1 here, it could have been anything lower than that. So our upper bound is 48, 46, that should be, 0.51. Please pause the video here and do the same for 79.60. Okay, so 79.60, truncated to two decimal places. Remember, we would have ignored anything after this. So it could have been as low as 79.60 and including that. So anything greater than or equal to 79.60. 
and anything below 79.61. Remember, if it at least had the zero here, doesn't matter what came after this, it would have truncated off, even if it was nine recurring. So anything less than 79.61, anything greater than or equal to 79.60. Okay, so example six says a number y when truncated to one decimal place is shown below. Complete the error interval for y. So 4.6 has been truncated, has been truncated, so it's 4.6 now after truncation, and we've got to complete the error interval. So think about all the numbers this could have been before we truncated. So 4.6, well, it could have had zeros after this for all we know, and it still would have been chopped off and been 4.6. So it could have been anything as long as it had a 6 there. So 4.6 is our lower bound, anything greater than or equal to that. And then it could have been 4.69 recurring. It could have even been that high as long as this wasn't a 7. So it could have been anything that was 4.6 something, 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 as long as this wasn't a 7. So it could have been anything lower than 4.7. So we have y is less than 4.7. And it could have been anything greater than 4.6, including 4.6. So greater than or equal to 4.6. Please pause the video here and copy that down and then try the we do as well. We'll go through the answer in a moment. Please pause the video now. So 7.9 when truncated well, this has been truncated to 7.9, so y could have been anything greater than or equal to 7.9 and anything below 8, okay, 8.0. So anything lower than that, it could have been 7.999 recurring for all we know. It still would have truncated to 7.9 as long as it was below 8, okay. So that's your error interval. Please mark in green pen. We're going to go on some questions now. So please be ready to move on some independent practice. Okay, so question one says, a number y when truncated to two decimal places is shown below. Complete the error interval for y. So all of these numbers have been truncated to two decimal places. I want you to draw write an error interval, so an inequality for the possible things these numbers could have been. Pause the video here for 10 minutes and work through those eight questions. So here are your eight answers to the first um for the first eight questions. So please mark in green pen. We've got some more questions coming up, so please be ready after this to do a little bit more work. So question two says a number y when truncated to one decimal place is shown below. Please um, complete the error interval for y. So this has been truncated to one decimal place. So everything after that one decimal place has been chopped off. So please write inequalities, error intervals for the possible things that these numbers could have been for each one. Eight questions there. So you can pause the video for 10 minutes, work through those eight, and then we'll go through the answers afterwards. So here are your answers shown on the board. So please mark in green pen. There's one more set of independent practice questions to practice. So please be ready for some more questions after this. Well done if you're getting these all right. You're doing really well. And for question three, it says a number y when truncated to the nearest integer is shown below. So remember that word integer means whole number. So these have been truncated to the nearest whole number. Complete the error interval for y. So everything after this whole number... So there could have been any sort of decimal after this. It's all just been chopped off. So please write the error intervals for each of these numbers and what they could have been. We'll go through the answers in a moment. Please pause the video here for five to ten minutes, however long you need, and then we'll mark the answers afterwards. So for question three, here are your answers. Please mark in green pen. If anyone's got 24 out of 24 on the last 24 questions we've done that is absolutely magnificent you're doing really really well thank you for listening today year nine that's the end of 9.03 so thank you for listening we'll change topic slightly next lesson see you again soon